Highscale Modeler channel. In this video, I'm going to go over all the things I purchased from Joelle directly over at Iceman Collections here on my vacation in Arizona. There will be a, th a few things here that I will not be going over and review, such as the Morgan Three-Wheeler, as multiple individuals in the YouTube community have already actually reviewed this item. So without further ado, let's take a look and see all the items in review that I got. The first item I want to go over is the Custom Little Coupe. Joelle over at Iceman Collections has multiple designers that he works with. For this coupe, it was designed by 89design. This is a limited edition for limited run and 125th scale. This item will no longer be out there for sale at the end of March of 2023. Opening it up, it is a pretty small kit overall. You have your prep, for recommended prep for it, sticker, and then here is the actual kit itself. Very small for 125th as this is something a toddler would have, so in real scale, one-to-one, -one, it is very small likewise. So here we can see the actual bottom of the item itself. As you can see here, very little 3D printed lines, so it'll be very easy to clean up. Joel has taken his time and tested many prints to get his printers to be efficient as possible with removing as many of the, of the lines as possible for 3D printing which helps us when we actually have to prep and get ready for paint, that very little work has to be done. Here we can see the pretty cool 3D printed steering wheel, the wheels and tires. The tires actually, I believe are, yet yeah, they're slicks. The wheels themselves, the seat actually fell off of the supports here. You have the little small wing. This item is for sale currently in his website. You can find it there on icemancollections.com. Like I said before, it is only a limited run. So at the end of March, it will no longer be available for sale. Here is a little small seat that comes with it as well. What's cool about Joel and what he does is he actually puts supports on parts that actually would not be shown uh, in the actual builds most likely. So with this one having support in the back, you put it here in the back of the actual seat itself. You really don't have to sand much back here because it's gonna be covered up. So Joel takes time in making sure that the parts where the supports are going to be on these items are parts where you may have to do limited work and prep on because it's not going to be seen anyways once it's put together. Next up for Iceman Collections is the 1970 Mustang Wide Body Kit. This kit is brand new to the website. It was just released yesterday. This is a wide body for the 1970 Mustang. What you will find is that there will be some supports that were removed here, but just a few minor sanding and prepping will get this to fit and cohesively work right onto the body itself. Uh, the front and the backs, the one thing you will see is that for these ones right here, this part where this line is, you will have to cut this piece of 3D printed off to have this part left to make it work with the actual body itself. So you have both the fronts and you also have the rears as well. Very nice 3D printed. I see very small, if any, 3D printed lines on these, which is great because the prep is very minimal. You glued on the body, prep the entire body, and then you're ready for paint. The detail on these is very, very nice. Here is the duck bill and then the, the front and rear wide bodies to it. Uh, this one, as you can see here, he printed internally in here where the, st or the supports are. So when you remove these supports, uh, a little bit of work and the rest of it is already ready to go. Being fortunate enough to go to Joel's house directly and see all the items that he had for sale and pretty much be like a kid in the candy store picking and choosing what I wanted and obviously paying for it as I walked out the door at the end and talking to him for two hours and having fun, I saw he had this 67 Camaro wide body kit as well. So same thing as the 70 Mustang, you have your six pieces. This comes with the wide body fender flares both the front and the rear again joel takes his time does multiple prints to make sure he can get the best quality prints out there possible for us to buy retail i see no work really needed up here at all form 3d printed lines internally a quick sand to get to stick to the body just as you need fit here is the rear rear is a bit bigger which is expected for how big uh, the rear of the 67 is from what I, could, what I was seeing online, this actually might work with the 69 Camaro as well. So be on the lookout if you're looking for something for a 69, 67. This will definitely work for the 67. 
But with a 69, it is possible. Uh, here is uh, the duck bill for the back as well. Very nicely done. Uh, with Joel having years of experience, he puts the supports on the bottom where this is actually gonna glue to the body itself. So you can do a quick sand, make sure it fits, glued on, and then you're good to go. Very minimal work on the parts that actually are gonna be shown. And here is the lower balance on the front as well. Uh, with everything you're seeing here, this is all for sale on his website. You can go on there and buy it, add it to your cart. And then with me, uh, working with Joel, he is allowing any of my subscribers to use the product code, or sorry, the, the promotional code BW10, and that gives you 10% off of your purchase. So again, this is the 67 Camaro white body kit. You get six items here, the balance, duckbill, and the four fender flares. Let's look at the next item. Here is the Ford supercharged engine. It is super nice with the engine block. You have the, uh, the headers themselves that say Arden on them, which is very, very cool. You have the exhaust. I love how it actually has the holes where the headers, so it actually makes it look legit. You paint it the color you want to, put some black in there, it looks huge, you're good to go. You have the pulleys, carbs, alternator down there, oil pan right here. I mean, just overall, this is super nice. Find a hose, put a piece of brass in there, and then get your black tubing for a hose, whatever you need to do. You have room for your spark plugs in here. The, the, I mean, this is just, it's just nice overall. The ridges are super rigid there for the, for the uh, supercharger. This is phenomenal. So this is the Ford supercharged. Let's look at the next one. Just like the supercharged that we saw, I also bought the Ford flathead four x two. So the supercharged in this one right here will be great to put into a 29, a 30, 32 Model A. Uh, I have plenty of those kits. I have, I think, duplicates or even triplicate triples of each one. What's nice from Joel that I see here is you have, uh, you're only supposed to have three, uh, four carbs, but he actually gives you six. So in case two break or an issue with any of them, you have two more that are extras to use. That either shows you someone that knows that, hey, these are delicate. They're gonna, they might break when you use them, you handle them. Let's give you a couple more so you have it just be taken care of. Again, we see the heads here. Uh, these are the Navarro heads. Very nice. I, I love how I can take spark plugs, put spark plugs in here, the spark plug wiring. It, it makes nice. Uh, again, with this one and the other engines and the other parts I've seen so far, very minimal uh, 3D, 3D lines, very minimal cleanup, if any, on the actual spots where you will be painting. Now, underneath and stuff, yeah, you will have to, you know, do a little bit cleanup where the, where the supports are if you need to, just to get the parts to fit, but it's not gonna affect a lot because the parts that actually will show in the build are unaffected by the supports. So this is the flathead Ford 4x2 engine. So this one is the Chevy 632. When I was speaking to Joel, I had some questions regarding how these would fit as they were 124th slash 125th scale. I had a few kits in mind I wanted to put some of these engines in, and luckily with him, he has a huge, a huge stash of model kits. So he took the actual raw bodies, styrene bodies out of the kits, and he builds these engines for his pictures on his website, and he had them available. And we took certain engines and stuck them in the actual engine bays, and lo and behold, these fit as they should from a one-to-one. -one. So me putting this into a square body Chevy truck, it definitely took up a lot of room, this engine, but you still had room to play with, as expected if the 632 was gonna go into an actual uh, you know, Chevy square body pickup truck, say in the 85, 86, 87. So here we see the 632 on the valve covers. We see the uh, manifold with the carb. The carb is very nicely detailed. We see the, uh, the oil pan, engine block, transmission, uh, air cleaner and he also gives you two options here one for it's fully enclosed the pulley system and one that's fully open uh, love the headers and also they're hollowed as well so this is another overall great 3d printed engine uh, like i said very minimal work on these 
That's gonna be pretty much be the, the whole entire lingo going forward in this video as everything is pretty nice, pretty straightforward here. Transmission, everything's clean, super easy to get ready to paint, glue it together, prime, and you're good to go. Next up is the 572 blown tunnel ram. So I actually got two of these. I got this one, and I got one with the stack. So the exact same engine, same base, just the difference is the supercharged with the blower, and that one has the stacks instead. So here we'll do a quick overview of the engine. You can see you have two different types for the blower tunnel ram. Since this is actually finned, the valve covers are finned as well, which is pretty cool. The lock is nicely detailed, oil pan has nice bolts around the side. Uh, great quality, better quality than some of the kits out there that we get from Revell and AMT regarding the craftsmanship and the detail in these, uh, especially the carbs. The carbs are just phenomenal the way they look. Super, super nice. So there's that one, that is the 572 Tunnel Ram. And then this one is the exact same engine, but with the stacks, and these are the stacks there. So this one, you do get some of the fin with the 572 on it compared to just having it just finned by itself. So here is the 572 stacks, and here is the 572 tunnel ram. Let's look at the other two that I got. All right, next up is the small block dual carbs. Here's the 350, a very simple engine as far as like parts, but greatly detailed overall. Uh, you can just see how detailed this one is even for being a 350 small block you have your headers here your timing covers your carburetors water pump headers lock uh, transmission i believe is a yep a retransmission there very very finely detailed with the the lines and everything in there uh, msd down there for the ignition uh, this is just a phenomenal overall 3d printed item even for a simple 350 in the comments below put down if you bought stuff from before and tell me what you think about his stuff honestly this is the hemi uh, top fuel you can see he even gives you the belt itself which is pretty cool uh, this one is 20 bucks as well on his website and you get a lot of stuff here and this is actually going to go into i believe it's a revel 1999 or 2000 issued kit it's the blue brother blues brothers hollywood video the Sarge Tony Schumacher's model for the top fuel. I want to put an actual through Hemi in it. The kit one was good, not the greatest. This is a whole lot better here. I'm excited to put this in that and see how it actually looks, how it fits. Being 124th, 125th scale, should definitely work, fit in there perfectly fine, and give me a whole bunch more detail than that kit would. So with this, I can do a whole bunch of wiring, uh, get everything going, and see how it is again guys if you're interested in any of the products that he has what he has on his website it's ispancollections.com for this month and this month only till the end of march 2023 he has given me permission to give a code out to all of my subscribers that is b as in boy w as in william one zero so bw10 is the promo code that gets you 10 percent off your actual purchase thank you all for joining me i appreciate all you supporters out there Everyone who subscribed to me, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe notification bell. Comment below if you've used Iceman before and let me know your experience. I know he's always willing to make things better and he definitely shows it here with his products itself. Thank you and have a great day.